Well, from cutting edge products to the latest when it comes to the coolest cooking styles like sous vide, I have a little something for everyone in this hour. We're in the kitchen for the next hour. I'm Alice Carone, and we're going to start off actually with something that is going to be where you start before you even get to your kitchen, which is of course your grocery store because you have to get all those ingredients. Well, we've got the perfect way for you to get everything home in something that is reusable, but really beautifully designed so you don't ever have to use those plastic bags again. This is actually called our Carry More, and we're gonna give you two of these. I'm gonna actually show it to you over here so you can really see this great design. It's got straps on it, it's uh, padded up here. It also has a little zipper pocket. It has a pocket in the back that has some hook and loop closure. It's all going to be nice and big and stretchy and hold a lot of groceries. So two of these holds up to 40 pounds, and two of these reusable flat bottom shopping bags are priced at $21.95, even with three flex payments on it. The color choices on this are going to be, uh, this is your blue that we have available. Again, you get two of them. We also have it available in your black. The black is right here. There's your red, and then also, if you like the purple, then we also have it in purple. The purple's kind of fun. And uh, Vonnebel Sherman is our, our kitchen expert who is bringing us uh, uh, oh, an armful of groceries. And I bet I already know is, is, what your arm looks like. Is this what it looks like when you go shopping? That's you painful. You get home, you drop it on the counter just like I just did. Right. Ah, oh, but let's put that down and show you what it does to your body. Yeah. Does your arm look like this when you go food shopping? You line up all of those bags and then you get in, you put them all in, and then most times you have to go back out for a second yeah. trip. Or maybe the bag breaks, so, right? Have you ever had one of the bags you. break? Oh yeah, oh, they yeah. do. Just you know, get that puncture and then you have a mess in the mm -hmm. driveway. Well, instead of this mess on your arm and that heaviness, you can have the carry more. What makes the carry more difference is, yes, I think we all know about the reduce, reuse, recycle now. Right. But okay, we've chosen a bag. How do we make it easier to load our cart? Well, this bag is totally different because on the ends it has clip um, that meant to go over your cart. So they're cart clips. Doesn't matter if your cart is metal or plastic. This is actually gonna go over the side. See how big it is? Over the side and when it does that, watch what happens. Oh, well, first let me show you this. So you have a handle that's comfortable that won't do what those bags just did to my arm. It has hook and loop. You open it up so it's comfortable in your hand and then watch how wide this gets. So when I hook this over my shopping cart in whatever store you're going to, it stays wide open. So you can use it while you're shopping. While you're shopping, maybe you wanna go down the perishable aisle. So that would be your refrigerator, freezer. Put all of those things in one bag. Put your pantry items in another bag because it is a set of two. And then check out and put them right back into those two separated bags. It's a great idea and a great technology. It does fold flat. So we can just go in the side compartment of your door but then when you need it, look at how big, and it's a gusseted side, so it stretches out, and it can even overstretch for your different sizes that you need if you're going to maybe, you know, the big club store or something. But see how easy that was over the side? Makes it easy to put in your car, and then it has a strap that goes over the top, so your items won't roll around in your car. It also has a semi-hard bottom, which means it will maintain its shape so it won't roll around in your car. This is really the answer to reduce, reuse, recycle, without any more frustration because there are some bags out there that you need two hands to hold yourself and then how do you put your groceries in it? So okay, I have one of these lovely bags, so now I have to put my groceries in them. Okay, um, I need a third hand, Alice. Right. Because well, my two hands are busy, otherwise how do I get need, a big mouth to you put- You need something to make it stand up. And to put the groceries mm -hmm. in, I need a third person, a third hand to fill that. Instead, the carry more stays open for you because the cart clips over, go over the side of your cart, your mouth is wide open, and I do, look at, 40 pounds is what this holds. I have my perishables in here. I have some eggs, I have milk, I have butter, I have beverages, I have some fish, so then if you put these all together, then they help each other stay cold. That's what I like too. Mm -hmm. um, and then it has a nice big strap. So as opposed to all those bags I had to line on my it's arms. Yeah, look at how still it's red. Come on, these are my war wounds, people. 
Um, instead, watch this. I just put this over my shoulder. And because, remember, it had a comfort pad, mm -hmm. it's great on my shoulder, and it has enough of a drop that it's not in my way. I'd like to, that I can put my little coupons and everything right yes. in here. So, great idea. Double uh, pockets, Alice, too. Look, hook and loop in the front, but then for security, Alice, check this out. This one has a zipper. So if you want to put your money in there or mm -hmm. your wallet, sure. you zip it and it's safe. Or your phone, you know, because yes. a lot of us walk around with our phone and then you can't really shop if you're mm -hmm. holding your phone. So you can put it right in there. Yeah. Listen, we are broadcasting live on Facebook. We would oh. love to say hi to you. So uh, go on. If you have any questions, we're happy to answer those. And we'd love to give you a shout out. Mohammed is watching with us right now. Mm -hmm. So good morning to you. And let us know what you think about it. Let us know if you have any questions. But what a great time to really think about, you know, we all have to do our part. Everybody's, you know, the whole big thing about, about straws. Well, stop and think about the plastic bags we're using. It's crazy, right? Every single time you come from the grocery store and how many bags do you have? Six easily. Now you're going to have something that's going to work for you, but it's not those crazy little teeny tiny things that you're trying to carry six or six of those. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. This is going to work for you beautifully, and we're going to give you two of these at $21.95. Great color choices, but really, it's all about the design that makes so much more sense. Yeah, and, and the set of two that really helps. Mm -hmm. Like this one, I actually have all my fruit in here. So it's all going to stay in the bag comfortable because it does have a semi-hard bottom, so things stay still. And then I can fit other things, too. This will hold 40 pounds very easily and then simply go over your shoulder. Now, the material material on here in the front is water resistant. It's like a luggage kind of material so that you don't have to worry if you get caught in the rain or anything. And there are alternate uses. You could put all your toys in here. You could fold this and take it on the plane mm -hmm. if you want to go souvenir shopping. You certainly could take use it as it. a little piece of luggage yeah. <laughs> as your carry on and if you laundry. wanted to. You know, it's sure. great for throwing your laundry in. So you'll have it for shopping. And those cart clips, that's why that mouth is really big open, because this is different. Those have clips, they're a great shot so that the mouth is open, making it easy for you to shop and pack. Okay, we wanna share with you some of the comments we're getting. First of all, Mandy, hello. And I hope I'm saying this right, Leisha, what a pretty, pretty name. And Joey is saying, that loves these. Uh, Jeff is saying, can I see the inside? Which absolutely you can. Um, let us show you the inside. And Joey also wants to know, is it washable? Um, yes, it, why not? Because this is water resistant material. You'll feel it when you get home. But you're not gonna throw it in the washing but machine. You're I, just going to I actually, um, to I have wipe thrown it down? these in the washing machine, that, yeah. but I wouldn't put it in the dryer. Okay. But if you, if you spill milk on it or something, I would put this on gentle we're, in the washing machine. We're recommending no that you spot clean spot it. Spot clean? Though. Yeah, preferably okay. just spot clean this. Yeah. And so here's the inside. All right. So nice and big. You, you have that water resistant material on the front and the back, big gusseted sides, very strong, so it will hold up to that 40 pounds and great hooks. Changes the way you shop and carry things. This is much better than all those lines from plastic bags. That's right, and and <laughs> um, Adam was going, LOL, those eggs are cracked. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to redo those, all right? Listen, thank you so much for your comments. Keep them coming. Bonnebel, thank you so much. Again, we have them in the blue, the black, red, mm -hmm. and then the purple also available for you at $21.95. Makes perfect sense. It really does. does. It? Yeah. I uh, want to let you know, too, that hsn.com, if you want to do a little bit of shopping, then you could shop for this that's coming up, our Starfruit The Rock. If you have not seen this, I'm telling you, this thing is, is the one pot that you must have in your kitchen. It's a five-quart Dutch oven on a price break of $39.95. I'm, I'm telling you, I think every single one of our kitchen staff has this pot. And it's not just because it's the right size, it's because the way that it's constructed makes it naturally non-stick. So it e doesn't even have a finish on it. It's naturally non-stick. It is a very clever design and uh, a huge customer pick as well. So we're gonna be featuring that a little bit later, but if you'd like to pre-order it, absolutely. But want to uh, move on to one of the biggest names when it comes to kitchen, which is Cuisinart. And Cuisinart has brought us something. I, I actually love this whole <laughs> little configuration because what you're getting, look at this. You know, I think a lot of us think that an electric 
electric knife is only for uh, Thanksgiving, but right, you right. should use your electric <laughs> knife for everything. We've got from Cuisinart the electric knife. We're including for you a carving board, and we're even going to do a storage tray as well. All of that, um, and a carving fork, no less. So I'll show you all the things that are coming with it in just a second. But uh, well, there you go, right there. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So you get the carving board, you get everything you need to store it, and you get your blades right there. They pop right in. There's going to be that fork that we're including as well. And uh, look at that pretty little carving board. <laughs> and uh, think the man that is wielding that knife and just <laughs> blowing right Cutting through that, that loaf of bread is uh, one of the premier product presenters of our time. You see him all the time in the kitchen on TV, including here at HSN and Mark Gillis joining us. How you doing, Alice? I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just you know, playing why with my knife. Is it, why is it that we only use carving knives at, at Thanksgiving and Christmas? Well, because that's all we thought they were for, and with the power they used to have, that's kind of all they were for. So I got to tell you something. First things first, when you get this knife home, uh, you know, read the customer reviews, do what they did, run Mm -hmm. Don't walk to the bread section because you are going to absolutely love what this stuff what this does on bread. And the control that you have is out of this world. And that's because, like you said, it's Cuisinart. So let me show you a little tour of the knife here, okay? Now, you've got your on-off button right on the back, all right? Uh, really handy to hit. Your finger's going to land right there when you grab the knife. But remember, this is not going to turn it on by itself. You've actually got to hit the unlock switch. So this cannot be accidentally turned on, which I love. When you're all done with this, what you're going to do is your blades are dishwashed are safe. They come out and they come apart. So you can wipe them off or just pop them in the dishwasher. And when you're all done, everything just slides right back into place, locks, and you're ready to go again. It's super <laughs> simple, super easy. And wait till you see some of the demonstrations we're going to be able to do with this. They really are out of this world, Alice. All right. Now, you we do have a turkey, so we are going to be We do have carving. a turkey, yes. that's right. And Easter's coming, so I got to tell you, uh, you know, if you've got that dad in the house that loves, loves, loves to slice a turkey, my dad didn't love to slice a turkey because he loved to slice a turkey. My dad loved to slice a turkey because he liked to play with the electric knife, and that's all there is to it, all right? But here's what I want you to remember, okay? This doesn't have to be just for those traditional uses that you think of an electric knife for. This is your foodie tool. I'm telling you right now, you're going to be able to do so many different things with this knife that you haven't done before, either because it was too difficult or because the knife that you're using kind of doesn't work with you. So here's what I want you to do. Next time it comes time to serve that turkey, go ahead and take that breast off all in one piece, just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it aside here. Now remember, turkey skin is super crispy, super crunchy, mm -hmm. and a lot of knives will kind of crack it as it goes. So and watch this. And don't forget that fork is included. The fork's included. Uh -huh. So if you want the cleanest, most perfect cuts for your holiday dinner, your Tuesday night sandwiches, well, no matter what it is, this knife overperforms with everything it does. Guys, those slices are restaurant quality, and unless the restaurant is using a tool like this, even they can't get the cuts yeah. that nice and that pretty. Because what do we do? We spend all the money on the turkey. We spend right. all day, <laughs> all day cooking it just so right. Oh, there's a cord back here. <laughs> we spend all day cooking it just right and then we hack it to right, death. Exactly. Right? We saw it and it's ragged and it just looks terrible. It's about the presentation. It's about having something that tastes great because you have cut it perfectly but you know what? There's just no way a manual knife oh, can no. compare nope, nope, to nope. an electric knife. Today at $49.95 you get the knife, you get the carving board, you're going to get your, your fork as well. You're even going to get this great little uh, piece so that if you want to put it all together and mount it on the wall you can do that. So everything included for you and free shipping and handling on that as well. So why this one? What makes this one so different? First of all, I mean, it's Cuisinart. We all know the name since 1972. Right. They've done nothing but bring us the best stuff all over our house. But guys, look at this. This is your typical blade from an electric knife right here. Small, thin, kind of flimsy, and this is why it was only ever for some bread and meat, and that was about it. Most electric knives come in at around 90 watts. Well, guys, you need to see this. If you're looking for a tool for those foodie creations around your house, yeah. this is the tool for you, guys. This is 130 watts of power, wow. all right? Nothing's gonna stop this knife. Nothing's gonna jam this knife up. When it comes time to make some creative dishes, Unlike anything you've ever made before, this knife is going to be so much fun. Imagine boring that out and now serving lunch in that with some strawberries and melon. Pretty? Isn't that pretty? Now, let me show you another cool little trick here. And there's again. no way you're doing that with a traditional <laughs> knife. And by the way, just want to let you know, um, Allison. Oh, 
Allison was saying that she likes my top. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like your I, beautiful I, top, Elle. You're absolutely know, right. It is from HSN <laughs> and it is Vince Camuto. So I'm not sure if we have it online. But yes, I'm, I'm trying to answer all your questions. If you guys have any questions or comments, we're, we're um, broadcasting live on Facebook. And we'd love you to have you be part of our show. Now, have a look what we're doing here. What are you Here's doing? the easiest way in the world to cut cherry tomatoes. What? Guys, you put them in a little plate, <laughs> and all you do is you run that knife right through it. And because you have the complete control that you've got with this knife, guys, you can do jobs like this like nothing. And here's oh the cool thing about that. Gosh, I, I'm having a party <laughs> in a couple of weeks. I'm totally stealing that trick. Isn't that cool? <gasps> now, here's another fun one, guys. Avocados are kind of the it food. Everybody's into the, into the avocados, They're all right? yummy. But here's the thing. Some of us don't want to take the knife, hack it here, and start running it around our hand to get that pit out. Right. That can be a problem. So here's a little trick for you, okay? And by the way, if you read the reviews, people are loving this one. Just kind of give that avocado a little bit of a squeeze, all right? Okay. There's a point here. <laughs> You're just going to go ahead <laughs> and set it on the counter and watch Step this. Step away from the avocado. Right, right through it, you guys. Oh, you know no. that pit is in the middle. So here, watch what's going to happen. It's going to go through that pit. And not Whoa. only is it going to go through it, but because you gave it that little bit of a squeeze, now that pit is ready to just pop right out. So you don't have to take that knife, run it around your hands or do anything silly like that. Now you can get at that pit of the avocado. And before I leave this area, Alice, yeah. here's what I want people to see. It's perfect for the hard stuff. It's perfect for the soft stuff. And sometimes the softest stuff is hardest. Right. Because it wants to squish. It wants to tear. It wants to pull. Guys. It wants to stick. So many five-star yeah. reviews. So many people who can't get over how much they love this knife. And I'm going to stop this in just a second. Because if you've ever had fresh mozzarella or a caprese salad, you know that that mozzarella can look mushed, smushed, and jammed. Look at that. Yeah. Is that not the most perfect slice you've ever seen it in your life? It is a perfect slice. That's the power of the Cuisinart knife. That's guys. the power of an electric knife. You, you, you know what? I, I don't know why. I don't know who said, oh, only use that electric knife, you uh -uh. know, oh, oh, for Thanksgiving, <laughs> for Christmas, for the big holidays. No, sure, use it then. Use it every single day. Why are we hacking our food and ripping it and tearing it when you don't need to? And you know what? I mean, try to, to get just a traditional knife, even if it's super sharp. It's still not going to give you the ease with which you can get right through this. You saw it cut through an avocado pit halfway down your, your pineapple. Actually, if I can just come over beside you, I just want you to see this close up, okay? You got to see this. <laughs> look at how beautifully, how beautifully Fantastic. that is cut. I mean, look, smooth as silk there. That is amazing. That This knife is going to... It's just going to be that that favorite thing that mm -hmm. you have. Exactly. You know, this this roast cost what used to be my share of rent. So I, I know, and it, it smells great. So, so I got to tell you something. Oh man, this, you can take all this home, man. This is all for Alice. Now here's the cool thing with this, you guys. If you're going to spend that much money on a nice piece of uh, protein for your meal, whether it's a, a roast or chicken or turkey, listen, don't hack it up with the knife. Make sure that the presentation matches the quality of the food. Okay. Now, Alice, I'm going to sneak behind yeah, you. You probably here. spent the price of, of this entire entire set. You probably spent oh, that yeah. on yeah, that yeah, roast yeah. right there. Like I said, my portion of rent. Now, here's something that you're not <laughs> going to expect, okay, you guys? I keep saying this is a great tool for the foodie. People don't often equate an electric knife with something for a foodie, right? So here's something that's really I cool, you guys. I just never thought that I needed an electric knife, exactly. and now you're showing me exactly why, <laughs> why I, I need it, right? Why I can't live without an electric knife. So guys, here's a fun one. Here's what I want you to do. Okay. okay? And you guys, this is a fun one to do with the kids. Go ahead, and yes, this is a frozen pint of ice cream. You're going to go ahead and you're going to cut that bottom off and then for as many as you can you're going to start making ice cream discs all right just like this you can make it as thick or as thin as you want to make it that's the cool thing with doing treats like this at home you have complete control we're going to make a little cut right there now alice watch what we've done i got the bottom cookie the top cookie ice, the ice, ice cream in the I middle and ready zip oh there <laughs> is the most perfect homemade <laughs> you got to be kidding me ice cream sandwich and by the way ice cream sandwiches are made for sharing so one's mine one's yours and Alice, this is just Deal. one of the things that. that you're going to be able to do that you don't have the tool to do with now that the electric knife is going to give you. How neat is that? Okay, now Patty wanted to know, is the meat that you just mm -hmm. carved up, is it cold? And the answer is oh, no. no, because I saw it. But this is. Actually. Actually, it's a neat question because my next demonstration, this is cold meat. All right, this is another one of those ones where with a blade,
made. This takes quite a learning curve, but when you've got the Cuisinart knife essentially doing the cutting for wow. you, now you've opened up your world to you. so many different types of culinary experiences, like a roumelade. And all you're gonna do with this is you're gonna fan this out as far as you want, you're gonna yeah. stuff this with asparagus and cream cheese and spinach, mm, roll yummy. it back up and bake it in the oven, and you've created a dish. You forgot garlic. You spent, I forgot <laughs> garlic. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna ruffle that's, her top that's here. That's what's that's, gonna happen. That's gonna have some garlic in it. We're gonna go out to the phones. Who's on, who's calling um, on our on our phone line today? Hi, you're live on the air. This is Alice. Hi, caller. Hi. Can you hear us? Hi. Hi, Hi sweetie. How are you? Fine. Hey, you guys are talking about everything, but you know what you left out? What? Tell us. People with arthritis. Right. What's that? Right, people. Yeah. yeah. Any carpal tunnel syndrome, sore wrist, arthritis is totally right. To cut. Absolutely. And this will make it just beautiful. Oh, what a great thing because uh, see my my mom has problem with the shakiness of her of her hands. So she can't yeah, cut a I thing either. It. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a really good idea. Really, what a really great idea. idea. Yeah. What's your name, sweetie? I'm sorry. Emma. Oh, Emma. Well, thank you, Emma. That's a great suggestion, and we sure do appreciate it. Glad you're able to, to pick that up today, and um, hope it's going to work out for you. Let us know how you like it, okay? Oh, I will. Oh, fabulous, <laughs> Emma. Nice. Listen, it's our pleasure to speak with you. Thank you, Emma. What? A, okay. oh, oh, I got to do it again. Gotta... Emma, you see where Please. he's going back to, right? <laughs> he's going back to the ice cream sandwich. I'm going back to lunch. Me, I'd be, go I'd be going for the roast. <laughs> Forget the right? ice cream. I want the roast. <laughs> Listen, it's $49.95. Look what we're going to include. I love the little car. The, the cutting bar board is so pretty. You're going to get the, the knife. You're going to get that fork as well. Uh, you're going to get the stand so that if you want to uh, hang it on the wall. Can I, I can hang, I can. Yes, ma'am, and, and of course, uh, great yep. in the drawer as well. And that cutting board, by the way, is bamboo. That's yeah. fantastic. Beautiful. Mm. Okay, mm -mm -mm. fabulous. Well, All eating. right, listen. <laughs> Save me about that with it. one, okay? Ice cream sandwiches <laughs> for you. Yeah. Listen, stay in the ordering process for that. I think you're going to use it, and just like Emma said, perfect. Okay, I'm going to walk on over because now we have something else that we're going to be, now that you've carved everything up, then maybe you want to cook it up. Well, that's what star fruit is all about. Star fruit is a, a very interesting, innovative company that brings us a pan and different types of pans, as I watched by Stephanie Roberts, who Hello. brings us our star fruit. But what they do is they do a naturally designed nonstick, which I've never heard of that in my whole life. It is a nonstick that doesn't use the chemicals or the coatings or anything else. It's a naturally um, constructed nonstick. It's all about the way the pan is treated. This mm -hmm. is called Starfruit the Rock, and this Rock Tech technology is unlike anything else that's out there, and you guys are loving it. It's a customer pick, tons mm -hmm. of five-star reviews, which I love. I love the fact that I can put five whole quarts of food in there as well, but this is what makes it different. This is the technology. It's called shot peening. They are literally hitting the pan with little pieces of metal, and what it's <laughs> doing is kind of dimpling the surface. So we've got that thick gauge aluminum on the bottom, which gives me that even heating, that quick heating. Wait till I show you what it's going to do to a steak. But because of the fact that we've got that surface, you can see those little dimples right there. The actual surface is what makes the nonstick. There's little bitty air pockets thanks to that surface between your food and the pan. So rather than a spray treatment, rather than a chemical treatment, those little baby air pockets keep our food from sticking. Alice, rub your hand on this. Okay. You see how it kind of feels like an orange peel? Yeah. It's a rough surface. Now, I love mm -hmm. it because of the nonstick. I love it because we can beat it up. Yeah. You can make all sorts of horrible noises on so it, but we you can can't use scratch our metal it. utensils. You can't destroy uh, I love it. That. Nope, my kids can cook with it. You know mm -hmm. how you have those pans that you have to baby? That is not the case here. But here's where I use it every single day. And no. this is literally what I had for dinner last night. A shepherd's pie. Five quarts, that is five how, pounds how good does that of look? meat. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. This is my kid's new favorite recipe. And I think I owe you a thank you for that because you were raving about this one of the first times we made that shepherd's pie. So I, I've got everybody I love eating a sh it. Shepherd's pie, but I, you know, shepherd's pie has to be deep, okay? It's got to be. Deep. Come over here and let me show you just the, the actual pan. This is a, it's five quarts. So it's a Dutch oven that's five quarts. And 
You're gonna have three color choices on it. This one is going to be the black one. This is your sand, and then we also have it in a gray color as well. These are beautiful, aren't they? Comes with your lid. Even the handles, beautifully designed on this. Price break today, $39.95, three flex payments. I think this is a pan that you are gonna use constantly, whether it's for your brownies, whether it's for a great cobbler, for your rolls, you name it, you will cook in it. And the depth of this is one of the things I love so, so much about it. And um, we just want to say hi to Donna, who's uh, online with us. Sherilyn Patty um, was also um, saying hi. I'm going to come over and try your little shepherd's okay, pie you while you're doing a little bit of the shepherd's pie. There cooking. is a fork right there Thank for you. You. But you mentioned the capacity. You mentioned the depth. It is great for one pot cooking. But here's the deal. Look at the gorgeous caramelization on this steak. Mm. So I'm using the pan to sear. I'm using the pan to cook my eggs because of the nonstick. Wait till you see how I'm going to be able to wipe it out and not use a bit, mm. ah, someone's sneaking bites, a bit of olive oil or butter. Do you love it? Mm -hmm. It's comfort food at its best. Mm. And it's for an army if you want it to be. But if you just want to use... Or a hungry Italian girl. That was work too. <laughs> but if it's just you and you're just searing a steak and sauteing some mm -hmm. asparagus, you can do that. I'm going to scoot that yep. right under you. And here's the thing. When I make my sauce to go with it, when I reduce my wine, I just grab the first spoon I can find. Okay, so it's metal. No big deal. This is what I now grab for anything. So I don't have to worry about those little flecks and everything else exactly. from my nonstick, you know? Exactly. I mean, I don't really want to eat speckled food. I don't want to eat polka dot food. No, you know? you don't I don't want to think about it. things in my food. And you're not going to have to worry about it because of the way that this is constructed. You saw those little, maybe, maybe just tuning in. I want to show you again how this is created because I think it's so clever. The way they dimpled the pan, that's what creates a, a natural non-stick because it's a rough surface on right. it. Right. It's called shot peening and mm -hmm. this pan has actually been pinged with little pieces of metal to give it a dimpled texture. Now what I love so much aside from the texture is that I have cooking options. So this was designed for one pot cooking. A great recipe book is coming to you and this pasta dish is one of the recipes. Do you notice how it is the exact perfect width for spaghetti so that I don't have to break my pasta. I can just put it in there. Now if I cook spaghetti in a stock pot all my real estate is vertical. And it takes forever. And it takes to forever. To get that water to yep. boil. So I like the fact that here my real estate is horizontal. So I'm not just going to cook my spaghetti, drain it, and then add all these ingredients. I'm going to mm -hmm. throw it all in one pot. Now, as the water boils, the starch releases from the spaghetti. It thickens up what it's cooking with. And you can use pepperoni, chorizo. I've got mushrooms. I've got my basil. I've got wow. my tomatoes. I'll toss in some Parmesan at the I end. Tell you, that's smells really good. I would and never have thought to put raw pasta in there, would all you? All in one. And it's in the recipe book, okay. and it's dinner in eight minutes. And Patty uh, is saying, great pot. And Cindy wants to know, how do you make shepherd's pie? Um, is the recipe in here? The recipe is not, but I will tell you there are many different varieties. What I like so much about doing it in this pot, I took the same pot, I sauteed the meat right there in the pot, I dumped in all the veggies in the sauce, I put on my potatoes and cheese as a topper, and I popped it in the oven because this pot mm -hmm. is oven safe. So the same pot that I'm doing my saute in, that I'm doing my veggies in, I can also then put in the oven. So it's just so much easier to cook when you're not having to do so many different types of pans and pots. The whole thing did it. That and same pot, I just made a reduction in. And how about cleaning it? Is it, is it easy to clean? Oh, I think you're gonna like this. We're not even gonna wash it before we do some eggs. Here's a damp towel. Remember, this pan has sauteed two steaks, some asparagus. I've done a wine reduction. I am 100% wiped out. Now, with now, should I hand wash it or do I? No, can I put it in, put the, it dishwasher? in the dishwasher. Hit it with oh. some metal spoons. Remember, this has been we hit. We have a bingo. This has been <laughs> hit by little metal pieces to be nonstick. You can do anything with it. But now let's do something a little more delicate. Okay. No oil. Okay. No butter. All right. No nonstick spray. Ooh. And in go my this eggs brave. onto a dry pan. Remember, I just took out a steak with some sticky wine in it. 
yet we are still able to put our Look eggs at, and what's the right diameter of this? It looks like about 12. You know what it is? It's about 12 inches and it's yeah. the exact length of a stick of spaghetti, which I think is the most <laughs> amazing thing ever that you don't have to do anything different with your pasta. We mentioned the oven and thank you for asking about how to make the shepherd's pie. We popped it into the oven to do that because it's oven safe. Mm -hmm. So that means when I'm making a chicken dish, I can sear off my chicken on the stove top. Then I can put the veggies with the chicken right into the oven and get a good brown on it. And then this recipe, by the way, is in the book. This is a honey mustard chicken. Amazing for comfort wow. food with the squash right on top. But remember, I did most of this cooking right there on the stove top. I just wanted to get that good brown and get those potato soft in the oven. I love... Multifunctional. I love that you can take it right to the table, too, because it, it, it gives great. it that really cool rustic feel and keeps that food nice and warm as well. And uh, let's see, um, Anne is on a line with us and she was asking, why doesn't everything boil over? Well, and it probably would, but you know, I've got my liquid at the right amount, mm -hmm. but if you don't fill it too high, it's never gonna boil over. Do you see how I'm getting and a good a boil though? you got a lot, you got a lot of space in there, five quarts. Five quarts spread horizontally, which I really, really love. Gosh, now, do smells, you see how it, quickly? That basil smells That so fresh good. basil, that pasta Ooh. is immediately softening up. You can smell the basil, the sauce and the flavors are melding together. Again, this is gonna be an amazing Italian dish that your grandma would be proud of in about eight minutes in one pot. This is how we get dinner done on mm -hmm. a Tuesday night. You know, when you have a great pan, everything else is easy. And you're, you're gonna right. be inspired. You're gonna do your shepherd's pie. You're gonna do a, a shrimp, you could do a shrimp. And We're gonna do a sticky shrimp. shrimp. Uh, shrimp scampi in here Absolutely. with some linguine. But look at, the, look at the eggs. Here's what I want you to understand about this pan. Na it's a natural non-stick, right? Yeah, we did naturally, not. Naturally uh, dimpled. Uh, not naturally, they they, they hit it with they, the metal. They, they shot the peanut metals, is the word. And you are able to cook now healthier because you don't have to use the oil, you don't have to use the butter, so you can actually take the taste the egg. I can't believe that egg came out of there with nothing on it. It did, and remember, Crazy. we did that with no nonstick, huh. no butter, no nothing. <laughs> and look at how they're sliding off. I mean, this you mentioned that we could throw this pan in the dishwasher, no problem. You barely have to. I can't even believe it. Donna wants to know if you can come over and make dinner for her. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, I would love to I because love you know what? This, hi, hi, the Linda. capacity, the spaghetti, the shepherd's pie, it doesn't matter how many people you're feeding, Donna, I got you covered. Okay, but Linda wants to know what is comfort food? Oh. Well, you're gonna like it. <laughs> how would we describe comfort food? Comfort food is it's, that wonderful blend of spices and meats and starches that makes you feel like a big warm hug on a cold winter's day. Whether you're just doing a little bit, maybe it's just for you, or whether you're doing the five it's pounds of shepherd's pot roast. Pie. It's like a pot roast. It, it's a yeah. stew. It's it's those those foods that are kind of hearty and rustic, and just feel like uh, the family's gathering around and uh, everybody's going to get comfortable with this. It's what we need this in February. This is the technology that works here. Thirty nine ninety five. Five quart Dutch oven. It comes with the lid. We have three colors. You'll also really like this. This recipe book has great, great little recipes. In Absolutely, it. it does, including this Italian dish. Again, mm -hmm. if you're just joining us, this has come Ooh. together in eight minutes' time. We put the pasta in raw with the water. We've added our pepperoni, our tomatoes, our mushrooms, fresh basil, and now Alice is going to love this part. You can never go wrong with Parmesan. Oh God. We're going to sprinkle in the cheese. Watch yeah. it all melt together. This is a dinner pretty much everybody is going to be interested in. You can change the sausage or the veggies depending on what your family wants. Sure. And look, all in one pot. I didn't have to boil that pasta separately. It is here and ready to go. Oh, we lost a tomato. We lost a tomato. Oh, we got no. a runner. Uh, you know what? No problem. Five second rule, put it in. <laughs> By the way, I also like this glass lid because I can keep a nice eye on how my progress is going. It just makes cooking easy. Mm -hmm. You don't need a lot of different pots and pans. You don't need a ton of fancy cookware. You need the right cookware. And to me, I have access to so many different pots and pans at yeah. my house. This is the one I go to every you know, single day because it does everything. I think a lot of our nonstick pans, typically we just have like a little eight inch or a 10 inch or something like to cook our eggs. When you have a nonstick pan, a natural 
nonstick, then you're gonna be able to use those metal utensils. You will find that you'd rather cook with that because it's so much easier to clean. Everything is gonna be easier to clean. The depth of this, it makes it just beautiful. I wanna say it's about a three inch depth, holds five quarts. I mean, that is a ton of food. But you know what? If you only want to make a little bit in it, then you make it a little bit. You want to make two eggs in it, fine. Exactly you know? right. Use That's why I love to. it. You do not have to fill yeah. it up. Don't look at this and think, oh my gosh, I don't need to make five quarts of food. Right. I cook two eggs in it in the morning. I may cook six burgers in it in the evening. And then the next day, I'm going to bake a cake in it. You yeah. were talking about nonstick. I want you to do the test for me. Okay. This is cool. Put your hand under it. Okay. And put your hand over the rolls. Okay. And give it a tip. Right. Show me how those rolls release. Let's this has not been done yet. Let's see how we do. No spray, no butter. Now pull it up. Oh, there they are. <laughs> there it is. And so look, that look, is look all. Look at the finish on it. That is how around. those rolls release. Whether it's the brownies, mm -hmm. the cakes, you right end there. up with this amazing result. Please get the browning that you want, but you've got the nonstick that you need yeah, for every other day. Just wipe that out. You are good to go. All the things you're going to be able to create in it. It's just that perfect pot from Starfruit. You're, you're going to get some great recipes, too. Yes. Listen, um, we have something else. It's a new way to cook. One of the hottest things out there. And uh, Stephanie's going to share it with us coming up next. Coming up and you're looking to impress your friends, let me show you how to make this beautiful seafood broil using my DuraPan. Let's do seafood for the dinner party. I'm about to say My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. are cooking in the kitchen and when it comes to cooking nowadays one of the hottest ways to cook is sous vide if you've never heard of it i hope you'll stick around for a few minutes because this is the way that professional chefs have been able to perfectly cook food it's a way now that it used to cost thousands of dollars for a sous vide cooking system now you're able to get for $99.95 the chef man sous vide cooker because all you have to do is put this little instrument right here into your pot and it is going to create that perfect temperature so you can cook everything from steaks to veggies you name it you can cook it it will cook perfectly it will never overcook and we're going to get right to it and show you how to do this because it's so simple it's so affordable but what you're going to find is you get perfect results every single time. I do recommend that you order the cookbook with it. And I say that because if you've never done sous vide before, as most, most of us haven't, then you're gonna need to know cooking times and things like that. So what is sous vide all about? Well, so sous vide is essentially a jacuzzi for your food, right? It's a steam <laughs> hot water bath that cooks your food. I've never heard it put Well, but that you way. get it though, Perfect. don't you? Yeah, yeah exactly. Do. And so you're thinking, all right, why the heck do I want my food in a jacuzzi? Right. Well, what do we usually do with food? We put it on the fire. We put it on a hot pan. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we need to cook it, but what happens when we do that? It dries out. So the reason you put your food in a water bath is because it retains the moisture. So this steak here, I have cooked in my water bath so that even though it doesn't look like much right now, I promise you, this steak is absolutely perfectly cooked. Now I'm putting it in a pan so I can add just a little bit of seasoning. I'm gonna go 60 seconds on each side because I just want a little bit of that sizzle, a little bit of that caramelization mm -hmm. because I like the way it looks. And I'm gonna cut this to show you that the steak could not be more perfectly cooked. Right. Because the concept of sous vide is that I take a water bath, I set it exactly to the temperature how I want my food. So for instance, for a medium rare steak, I would set my sous vide to 130 degrees. By the way, all on an app that does this for you so that you don't have to think anything. All you do is put into the app 
medium rare, 130 degrees. It tells me 90 minutes and off goes my jacuzzi. But the reason I do it is because, come on, when you cook a steak on the grill, are you so good at grilling that it's perfect every single time? Well, and you're never gonna get edge to edge equality. Well, there's the... That's what you get when, and that's why when you go to those steak places and you cut into them, and it's it's perfectly medium rare from top to bottom, side to side. It's because they they do it sous vide. It cooks evenly the entire piece rather than it's uh, cool in the center. No, it's cool all the way through. And that's why people love sous vide. That's why people spend thousands of dollars on sous vide systems. But they've never been available for, you know, the rest of us until now. And all you need oh. is just a pot of water and your sous vide wand and you're good to go. Okay, and so see how it is, is the result. even yep. top to bottom. There are no cold spots. There are no spots where the steak is not exactly medium rare side mm -hmm. to side. When you go to a five-star restaurant and you pay that ridiculous $35, $40 for a steak, obviously you expect it to be cooked like this. Do you know how they do it? In a sous vide. This mm -hmm. is precision cooking every single time. And as Alice has pointed out, up until now, it was kind of prohibitive for any of us to have the technology at home. Right. So Chefman is all about taking really cool tech things and making it accessible, making it user friendly. Yeah. So now that you understand the concept, let's talk about how easy this is to use. Right. Here's where Chefman has done absolutely everything right. There is an app that comes with my sous vide, which is how I set everything. So we're going to do chicken thighs next. I went into my Chefman app. I I search chicken thighs and it tells me that 165 degrees is how I want to cook my chicken thighs. Okay, good to know because I did not know that. So all you need at home is your jacuzzi for your food. Now ours is in a see-through container just so you can see it. But you can put it in any pot. At home I use a stock pot. I right. don't have a see-through container. Right. It doesn't matter. Now you don't need fancy bags. I take any kind of freezer bag. I do like the thickness of a yeah, freezer I bag rather than a storage bag. So I use those. So the next thing I'm going to do, I plopped my chicken thighs in here or my salmon or my veggies or my steak doesn't matter and I'm gonna put it in the water now one thing I do like to do is make sure that every last little bit of air is out of my bag so while it's in the water I'm gonna give it a final push right okay and get all the air out you do not need a vacuum sealer you do not need any more fancy equipment you need a freezer bag and you need to push the air out and you can put seasoning in there you can put wine in there with it you can put spices. and I recommend it because everything you put in there I think about it when you're in a jacuzzi. If you put in right. bath salts, mm -hmm. you smell fabulous like the bath salts. Yeah, so if you flavor. put in the herbs into the food when it goes into the jacuzzi, the food will take on the flavor. So now that I know I've got 165 degrees and my clock is ready to go, I simply go ahead and push start. I could also do the exact same thing from the app. So right now it is preheating. It is going to bring my water to temperature and it is going to cook the food precisely to that temperature. So I never have over dry chicken. I never have overdone steak. I never have mushy vegetables. Now, why people like this, and oh, by the way, you see these clips I'm using here? Yes. That's just to keep my bags from floating away. Okay. You don't need fancy clips. I will embarrassly admit what I use at my house, the binder clips. The, binder. <laughs> the black right. binder <laughs> office clips work <laughs> fabulous. So I admit, it's not a fancy affair when you do it at home. It doesn't have to be. When you come to my house, you see a big stock pot, you see a, a food in a jacuzzi, in freezer bags with office clips on it, but you you know what you see? Me doing something else because this food is being steamed. My beans, my carrots, my butternut squash perfectly. And look at how the color's intact. Mm -hmm. It's not being washed away. And if I put in some herbs at the same time, then it's being flavored. This is goof proof cooking. This is precision cooking. This is how the restaurants get it right every single time. And what I really appreciate of Chefman is that they're bringing it to us so that you can have that same restaurant quality at home and not feeling like you have to have a French chef degree to do it. Now, Barry wants to to know, can you tell us if there are healthier benefits to sous vide? Well, let's think about, Barry, what we're not using. We're not using oil. Right. We're not using fats. We're not using butter. We are steaming the flavors well, of the plus herbs. Plus, you're not boiling all of the all of the nutrients from the carrots. No, look at the colors. Right. You're not boiling all of those nutrients and, and letting it escape into the water, which is what 
what we typically do with that. So yeah, I would say there are some, you know, to a certain extent, but primarily sous vide is about um, the perfection of cooking. Mm -hmm. It is about being able to cook something to perfection that you simply can't do in an oven that dries things out, a grill that dries things out. It um, keeps that moisture, it keeps it, but it, it, it cooks all the way through completely evenly. That's why people love it. Uh, this is one, this one is from Chefman. The other question is, um, Barry was also asking, how much food can it cook at one time? And I guess that just as depends on you your, want. Uh, it depends on the size of your pot, Absolutely. Right? The, if you have a big, huge mm -hmm. tub and you want to fill it through a water, the Chefman will heat it. So this literally clips onto the edge of any single pot that you want it to. So that if you want to do a week's worth of chicken breast. I do my vegetables in bulk mm -hmm. because to me, I'm not real good at getting them accomplished otherwise. You can clip this on to anything. This is an immersion heater. It is stainless steel. It will do as much capacity of water as you need it to. Remember, I set the time. I set the temp. I can either do it right here on the sous vide or I can use my app. The app comes with the instructions. You simply put in the food name, eggs, veggies, salmon. It tells you what temp and how long. It also comes with a great recipe book, so you can look it up that way. But you start to realize, so this is how they do it. This is how the restaurants get it right. And in this budget-minded time of year, I know in our house we are trying very, very hard not to eat out, but I like the quality sometimes of eating out. And we say over and over, it's not hard to cook when you have the right tools. This is the tools that the five five-star restaurant uses to get their food right every single time. I also use it for reheating. Mm -hmm. Maybe on Sundays you've had time to cook a big traditional dinner, but then during the week you just need it to stay warm while you're getting kids picked up. Thing about a sous vide is, it's just a little water bath. You can walk away and come back and have it be ready to go. So I love this for reheating my food because what happens when we put it in the microwave? A microwave has its place, but what does it typically do? Dries, Dries it out. Dries it out. Mm -hmm. So this is the anti-dry food cooking method. It's a water bath. It is cooking the food in its own juice and something like salmon. I don't know about you, but I have a terrible time getting salmon to turn out well on the stovetop, on the grill. It's just very delicate. So what about putting it in a lemon juice? What about putting it in a white wine, steaming it in a food jacuzzi like a sous vide? It's falling apart, it's so beautiful. Look at this, oh, I can do it with the tongs. Gorgeous. Look at how perfect that is. Again, cooked all the way through. I don't know how many times, e even the thin part. Because I, even. I cook salmon, right, and the, the middle part is always raw and the edges are always overdone, so it becomes chewy. And once you bring in a sous vide and once you look at the Chefman app and the recipe book and start to see all the ideas, you get really creative. This is a plum mulled in wine and spices. I have Ooh, to tell you. That looks pretty. Anytime your fruit takes a jacuzzi bath in wine, good <laughs> things happen. That is what I've learned from this recipe. My favorite bath. Sous vide is very trendy. There are many, many any recipes, ideas, as people are starting to have the ability to bring this amazing cooking method into their home, maybe top it with a little bit of granita. Alice, if you're yeah. having a little bit of a sweet Fabulous. tooth, I recommend here. But then you can infuse olive oils. You can do creme brulees. You can infuse alcohols, all sorts of different things. Whatever you put in the steam bath stays moist, takes on the flavor of whatever you put in with it. And with the app, and the steam bath, you and can look, do anything. You just put this right in a little tiny drawer and that's all you do. Listen, I pick up the cookbook. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. A lot of fun. Great to see you. Uh, coming up, a very cool idea we're gonna share with you. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app, available on Apple and Android devices. Shop faster than ever with product videos, watch HSN live anytime, anyplace, and get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals, and the shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download.
can hear it right now. That beautiful little sound of ice dropping into my little case right here. Ice is important, and I don't know about you, but the first thing to break on my refrigerator is always my ice maker. What is that? Well, we're gonna be able to not only make ice, this is our showstopper that you're seeing right here, but not only are you gonna make ice, you're gonna make really great ice. There is a certain way of making ice that actually makes it taste better, and you can do this without any water line. That's the other great part. You don't have to connect a water line to here. You simply just add water, and it makes ice in how many, how many minutes? Seven minutes. Seven minutes Seven you have minutes. fresh made ice, <laughs> fresh frozen ice. We're doing our improvements portable ice maker on a price break today, $129.95 and five flex payments with free shipping and handling. And we have three color choices, the white, we have the silver, and we also have the red. Look at that, there it comes. <laughs> fresh frozen ice, nothing like it. We do have two available in a blue color. I'm sorry that there it is right there. So <laughs> two of you can have that, but the other colors are white, silver, and red. Uh, uh, Rebecca Wood is joining hi, us. Hi, how are you? Uh, you know, you can hear them. I know. Drop just their little ice pellets. And seven minutes. How seven long minutes. does it take for you to make ice in your house? It takes hours in mine. Oh, yeah, and if it actually works. If it actually <laughs> works. 100%. Can I show you how much this will make in 24 hours? Yeah. Because this is just going to blow your mind. So if you have a big party coming up, maybe a tailgating, maybe all those weekends at the ball field, look at this. You can go ahead and start making ice, and in 24 hours, you're going to get 26 pounds of ice. 20 six pounds this is going to have you covered from start to finish you can even use this in the back of your car if you wanted to you just need the adapter because all you need is a standard outlet that's it no water line no drain line needed just a standard outlet and you can have ice wherever you are so if you're new to the improvements lines what we like to do at improvements is improve things. We take problems that you have, that concept. I have, that we all have. I know, isn't it great? <laughs> wow. It's a great concept. It's a very aptly named business, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Improvements. And then we take care of that problem. So for all of you who have dealt with those old ice trays or your ice maker that continues to break on your fridge, this is the answer. You'll never have to replace filters. You're never gonna have to worry about anything breaking. It is going to continuously churn out ice for you every seven minutes and all you need Need is that plug-in. That's it. What's so great about this too is that it's portable. 17 and a half pounds. That's it. Mm -hmm. 17 and a half pounds. You can take this wherever you want to go. All you need to do is add ice. So when it comes to you, you just pull it out of the box. You plug it in and I'm going to show you how you do it. You, re you take this tray out and then you're just going to fill in the reservoir. It's about a gallon of water. That means a gallon of water. You can go back and enjoy your party and not even think about the ice. Then you're going to shut it, shut the little door. You can even see there's a peekaboo window there so you can see when that ice is ready for you and make your selections. You just turn it on and then you hit S, the select to S for small ice and the L for large ice. It even tells you when you need to add water and when that ice is full. Because remember, this is an ice maker, not an ice keeper. That's so right. that's the thing. Once that ice is full, two and a half pounds of ice in that tray, you take that out, put it in your ice chest or put it wherever you want, and then it will go and continuously make ice for you. And you know, if you've ever had ice that just tastes like whatever is in your refrigerator yes. or your freezer, it just tastes terrible. Onions. I always taste onions, right? I, I don't know what I taste. It just <laughs> tastes, you know, it has a flavor to it and it, t and it flavors all of your drinks. I don't care if it's, you know, cocktails or just an iced tea or even just water. Well, exactly. Look at the beautiful way this makes ice and there's a reason it makes this particular shape yes we do this ice there's very cool ice technology behind this and that pun is intended <laughs> we make sure that you have this little indentation there first of all the prong that's where it's flash frozen so you're going to get less impurities because it freezes from the inside out quickly not only that but it gives you more surface of the ice, so your ice will actually cool down quicker, your drink will cool down quicker, but your ice will melt slowly. The other great thing about this is, you can see there is a large and a small. Why do you want large and small? That large is gonna be great for your mixed drinks, it's gonna be great for all of that money you've spent on maybe some scotch or whiskey or bourbon, and then you also have that small that's gonna be great for anything you want ground into a smoothie, smooth consistency. 
like your smoothies, your protein shakes, your pina coladas, your margaritas, anything that you want to taste almost creamy, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to get that with that small. And we have a question from Donna asking, yeah. can it make crushed ice? It does not make crushed ice. The two ice that you just saw, the small and the small large, and the they're large. both going to be in that same shape. You can see that they're both in that same shape right there. So one big cube, you're just gonna get a smaller ice cube or a larger ice cube. You choose whatever you wanna make at the moment just by yeah. hitting that select button. But Donna, I recommend a nice, uh, thick, plastic bag and a hammer and a hammer <laughs> exactly That'll crush that ice <laughs> and but, it's so easy but to it's do. interesting that you bring that up donna because there's a restaurant that i go to in my hometown and and it's actually an old ice plant and they have a oh. complete menu of ice because they know what a big difference that the consistency and the shape and everything else of the ice makes to their drinks exactly they have some that are little pebbles some that's crushed some that's oh, it's amazing amazing how much of a difference ice makes to a drink you're going to be able to make in seven minutes fresh frozen ice and my update from my producer is i'm sorry dan Okay, the blue is now sold out. There are the final hundred if you want it in that red now. So we're getting very limited in the red color. The red's so pretty. It, I love red. Yeah, Candy I like it red. too. And then you have the silver, which goes with all of the different appliances. Yeah. And that white, which really goes with a lot of the different accents in a kitchen. So I loved how you brought up Taste of Ice because so many of us do pick up whatever we had for leftovers the night before, right? Whatever yeah. it's, it's being stored next to. The reason this will be the best tasting ice you've ever had it's all being made in this self-contained unit, meaning it doesn't have anything to transfer over to the ice. And it's being flash frozen on these little prongs here from the outside in, meaning less impurities can get trapped inside that ice. Your ice will actually taste creamy if you grind it to a smooth consistency. I had this for the very first time. When I had this, I brought my girlfriends over and I said, Listen, I'm going to make you a drink, and you're going to swear there's dairy in it. And there's no dairy, so I'm going to do the same for you. Okay. So remember, seven minutes. In seven minutes, you're going to get a full tray of ice. So in the morning, head on. You'll get that full tray of ice, and then go ahead. And, and do I have to keep um, pushing it to keep making it? Or no, just it just continues. Okay. Once it makes it up until two and oh, a half look. pounds. Do you hear it? I there heard it goes. Some more ice. It just continues to make it in seven-minute cycles. Yeah. And then once it's full, that little ice full icon will light up right there. And that just means, hey, I need to empty that tray that holds two and a half pounds of ice, put it into a nice chest or your yeah. freezer, and then replace that tray and it'll go right back. That's all you have to do. So it really takes, there's no guesswork. And you can go and actually enjoy a party. Wouldn't mm -hmm. that be nice? Instead of hearing the words, honey, we're out of ice. Or, or calling your friend. That's what I always do. Oh, yes. <laughs> I always call my friend and go, hey, can you pick up ice on the way over? You know, and it's it's inconvenient. You, you want to know something? It's always me because I'm always that. the last one in the party. And I'm like, dang it, I'm already running late. <laughs> well, I'll know who to call now. <laughs> exactly. It's always me. Always me. But you, you get that big bag of ice, you have to pay for, for something that should be free, right? <laughs> exactly. It's ridiculous. And it's just, you know, then you put it in your car and it's kind of melty all over the place. Oh. Don't do it. You know, <laughs> this is something that you'll use year round. And it's funny how much you will get used to using really this ice and you won't even use the ice that your freezer makes because it's not as good the ice in here really is going to make a difference in the taste of your beverages I, it just really does i wish you'd just try it and and see for yourself it does look at what i mean remember i just put some frozen fruit in there some ice and juice that is all i had and when you taste this you're going to swear there's yogurt or some kind of cream or dairy and it tastes absolutely delicious so you go ahead and you take a taste of that and tell me that doesn't taste delicious all you're tasting is the fruit and the juice you're not tasting your meatloaf from last night That's you're not creamy. tasting isn't it creamy yeah it's it is so good let me tell you something you're gonna love it That's in your crazy. Uh, pina coladas because mm -hmm. you don't have to have that cream in there it tastes so good Yum. Delicious. So that's the thing you're gonna love. With just an outlet, with no water line needed, no drain line needed, you're gonna have this wonderful ice. I even made ice in the back of my car when the hurricane hit. I'm from Minnesota, I had no idea how hard it was to get ice. I, I learned a lesson very, very quickly. So <laughs> right. usually, I didn't... usually just walk outside. Huh? Yeah, exactly, Minnesota. in Minnesota we have ice whenever we want it. In July, it's right I'm there, man. Exactly. <laughs> Here I had a lot of water but no ice, but I was able to get an adapter, I had an adapter, and then I was able to plug it in and make ice right from the back of my car. It was that simple. So not only is it a party, 
security saver. It's a lifesaver in even those emergency situations. So good. Enjoy it. I feel and guilty drinking in front of you. This is what we have you you dealt really with good. this. Yeah, please do it. Yeah. That's why I made it. These are for jello shots. Okay? Jell <laughs> <laughs> I knew I loved you. I knew I loved you. <laughs> exactly. That's years what, ago. Okay. Years ago. Yeah. Sure. No, we are so used to these, especially in cabins, maybe your RVs. We're so used to having to deal with this. Snowbirds, you know you go down to your condo. I love hearing that when the ice is made. You're so used to using this. This takes six hours for 24 ice cubes. And then you have to find a way to store it so it's not like this. And then you have to try to get them out without breaking the actual tray itself. Six hours, your refrigerator ice maker takes three and a half hours to make a tray of ice. Our guy, seven minutes. In seven minutes, you're gonna get that full tray of ice and you can see it, it dumps it right into the tray here and then goes back and continues to make the next tray of ice. So even your guests can just open it up. It comes with this little scoop here. They can just dish it right out of here. Now, should I use like a special kind of water? Or should mm -hmm. I use filtered water or no. like bottled mm -hmm. water? Whatever water you prefer. I know some people love bottled water. Go for yeah. bottled water. I use tap water. I just use tap water because our yeah. water tastes fine. Um, otherwise, if you maybe have harsh water and you just for the simple taste of it, mm -hmm. then you could use uh, the water out of your refrigerator if okay. you wanted to. But it's whatever water you prefer. So it's it's free. That's okay. what's so great. I want to say hi to Teresa. Hi, Inez, Teresa. Joining us live on Facebook. Hi, Teresa. Thanks for all your comments, guys. It's been so much fun. I wish they would let us do Facebook every single show. I love doing so it. so fun. But look at, look at how pretty the ice is. I love having uniform ice. You know, it's yes. really nice. And um, I think that you're going to find that it really makes a big difference in terms of the flavor. What are you doing? This is my favorite way to use it. So in the morning, I cold? pop it on. Is that it's coffee? It's cold coffee. Oh. If you want to switch out from your from your um, mm. smoothie you can at any time. My favorite I'm way- I'm with my smoothie. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's you good. enjoy that. <laughs> this is how I love it too because I am kind of a coffee snob. I really like my coffee to taste good mm -hmm. and I don't want to taste whatever ice I have in my refrigerator, whatever it's picking up from the um, the refrigerator that it's yeah. being stored with. So I absolutely love it for your iced uh, coffee, for your water and your teas. Thank you, Miss Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining Thank me. You. But we are serving up Lunch Rush coming up next right here on HSN. Have a fun